Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to use the key side pathway for the lab operation for the lab remote learning solution. Okay, so and we will also show the three different accounts for the lab admin or lab manager, lecturer, and the student. So this lab remote solution, right, actually is roughly like lab admin, lecturer, and student can access to the university lab PC and control the each of the instrument and do their measurement. Okay. So this is how it looks like. When, that means that like student can access to the PC one or PC two, PC three, and control the instrument in the station. Okay. Now I will show you the lab admin account. Okay. So lab admin account. This is the lab admin account. So I will log in to my lab admin account. Okay. So once I log into my lab admin account. Okay, so from here, the profile, user info, you can see the role is let admin. Okay, so let admin account have like five options here. Okay, they can like approve the station or they can do like any other set setting or they can schedule the lab section for any user. Okay, so let's start with the installation. Okay, how are we going to install the remote agent right to each of the PC in the lab okay so this is how it looks like so we will download this agent installer okay we will download it okay then we will go to the folder okay we will extract then here is the installer then we just run this beta version for complete installation in the pc that you want to remote that means you can copy this installer and put into each PC that you want to control. Okay, then you install in the PC. Okay, so the guideline is here. Here you can download in Keys website. Okay, so from here you can go to the table content here. Okay, the page 30, install the remote agent. So here have like show you step by step how to download, how to install, okay, how to like set up the whole setting. Okay, so from here, you can see this is the PC5 station. Okay, I call my PC is like station. So we have five station here. Okay, now you can see here is like three is online, two is offline. Okay, so that means this five PC have in installed this agent installer. Okay, next, we also can add the bench. That means if you have any new bench, so now I only have five, so not don't have any new bench for me to install okay and i can directly connect to each of the bench i mean the station the pc okay so let's say i want to connect to the pc one i can just click connect because i have the lab admin i don't need to book when i click on connect right i need to wait for a while and wait this appear become like can start remote okay when i click on start remote then i can remote the pc okay so Let's say I can't control the screen yet of the PC because I haven't request for control. So when I click request to control, then I can control the screen now. Okay. So let's say I want to control the VNA. Okay. So I can use like type VNC. Okay. I connect to the VNA. Okay, I can remove and I can, yeah, you can see the S11 result is not that okay. Then I can do the preset as well for the station one VNA. Okay, so everything is good now. Okay, here also can have like chatting, live chatting. You can chat with your friend and the group. So each, each station for the remote, right? Maximum for enter for each station will be 5%. Okay, that means you can check like how it's going. Okay, something like that. Okay, next, we can slide, click on exit. Okay, then we can like stop remote. Okay, so when you stop remote, we can click on exit. Then they will go back to the screen here. Okay, so now I can do the scheduling. Now it's already like 1 18 p.m. So I can go to here and I can set like station 1 and 1 to 2 p.m. Then I can schedule on behalf 
to the student or the lecturer that I want. Okay, so if I schedule for myself, I can also schedule for myself. Okay, if not schedule on behalf, then let's say I schedule for uh, this student or and this student, then I can submit. So when I schedule for them, then this slot is not available. Okay, then the other user they when they want to book the when when they want to schedule for the lab session, right? They can see here it's like blocking. Okay, so once I have booked for one I said <laughs> once I have scheduled for the student, then I can go to the session management. Then I can see here is like waiting for approval, like just now, one p.m. to two thirty. So I can click on approve. Then the student can access the station. Okay, like this already approved, so they can just connect it. Okay, so now I will show you the lecture account. So let's say the lecture account. This is my USD LMS. So when I log into my lecture account, okay, then I go to my dashboard, my subject. Okay, so this is my subject, and then I click on the Keysight LMS because I have add on the Keysight LMS in my courses. Okay, so I click in, then I automatic link to the pathway for the remote learning. Okay, so now you can see the for the lecture section, right? You can see they have like three options only for the remote. So you can go back to see the admin account. They have like five options. Okay. So what I can do is only can schedule the lab session, but I cannot approve any lab schedule. Okay. So now let's say I want to control like station. Uh, let's check which station is available. Okay, so now it's at station 3 and station 4. I want to use now, let's say I connect to station 3. Okay, so let's schedule and station 3 for now. Okay, so I submit. I can also schedule on behalf for my student because I'm the lecturer, I can schedule for my student as well. So let's say I click on schedule, then you can see I can, as maximum is 5%. When if I doesn't schedule on behalf right that means i will include that means total include me is five percent that means four percent i can invite and include me is like total is five okay so let's say i doesn't invite anyone or i can invite one of these students okay okay so i can just submit okay when i submit the request you can see all other stations will become gray color because i have not schedule on behalf that means i schedule for myself that means i only can use one station at the same period okay i cannot use for other station okay then i go to back to my bench and home here yeah, i can check like okay i waiting pending for the session status pending for approval and other user will be my student okay so waiting for the approval so let's say i'm the lab admin here okay so i go to the schedule session management i saw like this lecturer and this student okay request for the lab schedule so i approve it once i approve i can go back to the home okay because it's not belong to mine that means it's not scheduled by me that means i uh, won't appear in my home okay so i let go back to the lecture account so this one is the lecture account so i refresh my page then i go back my session have been approved that means we, I can connect now. Let's say, let's say I schedule another one is like after the period. That means it's not now. That means I schedule another one is like 2.30 to 3 p.m. Okay, or 2.30 to 3 p.m. Then I schedule it, submit. Okay, then I use the admin account to approve it. Okay, once I approve, okay, then we go back to the lecture account. Then we can go for the home. You can see the section is approved, but I can't connect yet. Why? Because it's heaven 2.30. So now already 1 p.m. right? 1 p.m. now it's like 1.23. So I can just click on connect to this station. Okay, so it's like 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. So the remaining time is like 1 hour and 6 minutes. So I can start, access, and control. So I can remote control, but I need to click for request. And I can control this station now. Okay, so if I want to save the file, I can just click on 
here open transfer the file then let's say i go to the user asset then the desktop and let's say i want to have this file okay let's say i want to have this file i can just download it and then i can open the file now okay so this is how you transfer the file from the pc to your pc okay so let me use my student account to access to this pc as well okay so this is my student account from here okay i log into my student account then they just go to the subject okay so this is my student Kavinish. go to my subject 411 okay the lms is here they just click it they will automatically log in because they go through our lms so the student have like scheduled for 1 p.m to 2 p.m for december 30 and january okay for 4th of january okay so this is pending for approval and this one is scheduled by others that means just now i'm the lecturer i'm scheduled for him right so he can join the session together when he click on connect okay then wait for the session so you can see there is a like session time and remaining time and he is going to click on start so he can remove pc and also can request for control so let's say i request for control okay then here we'll have like my lecture account here will show will pop up like control request from Kavinish. is it allowed then i allow then i'm no longer to control the remote session of this pc and then my student here now you are controlling okay so he now he can control the, the remote pc okay so this is roughly how it looks like and also we can do like chatting okay so you can see like two person now the lecturer and the student so hi okay then i view in the lecture account you can create oh they have like three message okay so now it's a high sir. oh hi okay something like that okay for the admin right admin account let's say i go to the admin account here admin account can direct access without asking permission they can access let's say you are the lab account you can like view the student result or anything you can just access just now it's like station three so he can click on connect he will as able to access the station as well so wait for a while then start okay so from here he also can view like oh now the lecture is here and the student is here so hi right, right. going to finish something like that okay then we can view his life from like our let's say I go for the lecture account okay so this is the admin they're asking for this question okay and the student account so this is the student account then yeah so we can see almost okay so now it's like group chatting and also we can send the file like just now and we also can maximize the screen okay so we can have a better view and then we also can click on exit or then stop remote okay for student account we only can do for scheduling that means you can see the option here let me exit all of this okay click on exit okay so from here and the let admin let's click exit okay so let admin we have like five options here and lecture account they have three options and the student only can schedule and see the home and then home page uh, what happening for the upcoming session okay so the schedule you can you can schedule for on behalf because you are the student you only can schedule for yourself and your team it means okay let's say i want to control for station 4 until 2 p.m okay so i can choose my friend sultan tiro fatin okay for total maximum four then we just click on submit when i click on submit then they will become gray color here because i have schedule for this section so other station i cannot book anymore okay so when i go for the home then schedule by me is four of the student teammate okay and then waiting for approval so let's say the lab i mean they can go to the section management they can just go and approve it from Kavinish and his friend 
and we just approve it then let's see the student will get approval here once approved then he can check like oh now is the time 1 pm to 2 30 so he he can connect to the station so this is station 4 so uh, is it so you can see here is station 4 station 4 here okay so now i can connect okay wait for a while and then now we only remaining the time is like 59 minutes then we click on start okay now we can remove the station 4 roughly that's all for the remote solution for this pathway lab operation for remote learning if you want to learn like how to set up all of this you can refer to this guideline okay from this paper so that's all thank you